I'm going to consume, I'm going to use up part of that inventory now for a job. But for me to do that, I have to actually uh, either invoice or do a sales receipt for it. Now, I personally recommend doing a sales receipt instead of an invoice because normally when we give a client a statement, we don't want to see an invoice that's worth zero dollars with a wire consumption because that's just confusing. So I'll use a sales receipt instead because typically in construction, we don't use sales receipts at all. So I'm going to click here under enter sales receipts. And then what I'll do just real quick to just make it easier, um, instead of calling a sales receipt, we're going to call it inventory usage for a job or something like that. That way, if we actually print this out, um, you know, the, the people internally in the office, they know what the purpose of this sheet is. So we're going to pick the job. I'll close that out and then I'll pick the item here, wire. And, and here it says, do not sell for job costing only. Oops, I'm supposed to put uh, sell, not see. <laughs> so do not sell for job uh, costing only. And that's just to let you know that you're not going to give this to the client. And then you're going to put here uh, 2000. And this is the key element. The rate is zero. The rate is supposed to be zero. There are no sales because I'm not selling the client the wire. I am consuming the wire. And therefore, that $5.65 times 2000 should now be sent uh, to the job cost. So I'm going to hit preview. That you, see, you can see what that looks like. That's going to say, hopefully, when if, if somebody's tempted to print this and give it to the client, those indications uh, show you that that's not something that you, it's not going to be a client-facing document just for internal uh, purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close and hit yes. And then when you see our our, uh, our report here, we see here the actual cost for this is 11300 Wonder why that's a pretty big cost. Oh, not 2000 It was supposed to be 40% uh, or 1000 So let me put here times 1000 I guess I could have done that math by myself. 400 So I'm going to consume 400 not 2000 because I only bought 1000 So I'm going to consume uh, 400 feet of wire, and then you should see that cost hit my estimate versus actual, and that allows me to see it. Now, one of the challenges here is I never budgeted for this in the first place. So what I should have done is budget for this wire in the first place. And one of the ways that we can budget for that without the client seeing it is we create um, a new item here. I'm gonna create a group. And then I'm gonna create uh, an item group, and I'm gonna call this uh, job materials. And then what we can do is this little checkbox that says print items and groups. I'm going to uncheck that. And then we're going to put here total job materials under item. I'm then going to put wire. And I can put any other materials that I normally use, uh, whether they're inventory part or maybe other, any other things. I can put uh, these pieces here. And then my client is not going to see it. So whatever that is, I can hide it inside of a group and then hit OK. And then I'm going to go back into my estimate, my original estimate here. And I'm going to pull up my original estimate. And then I can come here in the bottom and pick my group with hidden items. And that group is going to open up both of my items. So in here, I can budget. I can say, well, I want to use about 400 uh, feet of wire for this. And then there's some additional specialty materials, which we haven't done yet. And we're going to have uh, one that's say for 1500. So this could be some internal calculations of materials we're going to have. And then under markup, we're going to put here uh, negative 100%. That way uh, it doesn't charge the job anything from a sales perspective. That way our revenue is still the same 35,000. However, our projected costs are booked in here. And then when I show, if I happen to be using an actual QuickBooks estimate to show my client, I'm just going to see a line that says job materials with a zero to the outside world. But internally, we actually calculated that to be, you know, 2260 for one item, 1500 for the other item. So this allows me for internal calculation purposes, this allows me to go back into that report and actually see that I consumed all the materials that I originally uh, budgeted for.